Hey guys, Matt and Daryl asked me to do a quick little devotional for you guys. So I'm going to share something that I came across a few weeks ago myself. The last few months, I've been kind of just down in the dumps with depression. And going into quarantine and not being able to see any of my friends anymore really just hasn't helped me. So I picked up a book from Levi Lusko that says, that is called I Declare War. And it's about winning the battle against your depression. And in the book, it brings up some verses from 1 Thessalonians in chapter 5. Starting in verse 16, it says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. 1 Thessalonians was written to the church in Thessalonica from Paul in Corinth during the time the church was experiencing lots of unexpected deaths and persecution on top of that. They were losing a lot of hope, so Paul wrote to them in an attempt to restore some of their hope. And the key verse here um, is to rejoice always. Verse 16 is the shortest verse in the Bible. And I know you're thinking, like, isn't that Jesus wept? Like... The letters are much different. But while that might be the case in English, um, Rejoice Always is shorter in the original language that the Bible was written in. Um, and it's so small that we often overlook it and forget about it. But it's a really important verse because... It's not telling us to rejoice sometimes or on occasion when every when everything's going perfect. The verse is telling us to rejoice always, even when all the odds are stacked against us or even when there's a virus going around that we don't know hardly anything about. And I feel like as teenagers we're taking granted of our extra time and we're just spending it doing things that don't matter. We're just sitting around watching TikToks and binging on Tiger King and things like that when we really should be staying, we really should actually just spend more time in the Word than before, honestly. And we really need to pray more too. And I feel like right now, I don't know about anyone else, but I know me personally, I avoid that sometimes because I know that if I'm going to, then my mind is going to go to those things. And I don't want my mind to go to those things. But I need to anyways because I know that God is going to take care of all those anxieties and all of my worries. And he will do that for every single one of you. And so I'm going to just take the rest of the time and pray with you guys. Heavenly Father, I pray for our world today. I pray that you be with our um, healthcare workers, fast food workers, um, grocery store workers, people in law enforcement, first responders, and everyone else on the front lines of this virus. I pray that you would protect them and that you would be with the, the their families, and I pray that you would be with the families of the people fighting this virus and the people who have lost loved ones to this virus. I pray that you would be with everyone that's lost something, whether it be the seniors that are kind of just missing out on the last bit of their senior year or someone that's missing out on their sports season. I pray you bring light to this situation and that someone would find hope somehow out of this. Lord, I, um, whether it be someone is from another country that hasn't heard your name is um, comes across a church's live stream or 
just a devotional like this and they hear your name and they are drawn to you and want to trust you Lord but whatever your will Lord it be done and in Jesus name Amen